All right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. And of course, as per usual, we got a pretty action packed vlog for you this weekend. For those new to the channel, every Thursday I do a vlog video. It ends up running about an hour and I cover everything from, I don't know, uh, viewer mails, shout outs, music sometimes, beer usually. Also, some new vapey stuff that I have as well. Sometimes I have reviews packed in here, which I'm going to be talking about the EMAC a little bit later on. It's not going to be a full, full review, but it's a it's a mod that kind of got uh, lost in the shuffle for me. I got it a little bit too late, and I didn't feel like it needed a, its own YouTube video, as there were already a billion and a half YouTube videos out for the EMAC, but we're going to be talking about that, but welcome. Welcome, welcome. We do have a lot of stuff to cover. Um, before I get to any shout outs, first impressions, this, that, and the other, the first thing I want to talk about is beer. Of course, the first thing I want to talk about is beer. And uh, I got called out last week, you see, for not knowing what the bitter, whatever rating was on a beer. Uh, everybody was like, I can't believe you don't know what that is. Um, I apologize. You know, I don't, I'm not like a, a professional beer brewer or reviewer or anything like that. I just like beer and I talk about it. And, you know, that's how you learn things by uh, by making mistakes and asking. <clears throat> anyway, what I have today to talk about, this is called Four Witches Black. No, now there is a way to pronounce this and I, I want to pronounce it correctly. Saison. Saison. Saison, Saison. Let's listen to the Frenchman on 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 YouTube. Try to pronounce it. How to pronounce Saison? Saison. 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 So this is the Four Witches Black Saison from uh, New Holland Brewing. It says the High Gravity series. I'm not quite a hundred percent sure what that means either. But this is from New Holland Brewing. This came to me via uh, Warmouse. He has sent me beer in the past, and he sent me beer uh, again. And uh, I, uh, I'm always super, super appreciative. Uh, Warmouse, just fist bumps to you. Thank you for the four witches. Um, I'm interested to try this out. It says white and dark roasted wheat join caramel rye and barley in a flavorful backdrop for yeast character actuated by mild, mild spicing pairings. Grilled or blackened fish, jambalaya, mushroom sautés. So, seems to be a hearty, heartier beer. I've read that saisons are uh, notoriously uh, very carbonated. Oh yeah, let's pour this over the keyboard again. Oh Ruby, this is gonna be a, a head that I have to drink through, isn't it? Saison, saisons are. Highly, highly carbonated. Uh, they're usually quite pungent and aromatic, and I was reading about them, and it turns out that they are brewed in the wintertime for consumption in the summertime in the uh, French-speaking area of Belgium. At least that's what Wikipedia said, and I don't know why Wikipedia would lie to me. Look at that head. Three witches, four witches. Even better. Why not five witches? So this is the uh, four witches, black saison. Here's to you, Warmouse. Thanks. It's okay. Mm. It's okay. I get, uh, I do get some fruitiness. It's not quite as sweet as I would like. Um, when you throw around words like caramel, I don't know. It's kind of really neither here nor there. I get some like raisiny prune flavor from it, like kind of a heavy raisiny prune flavor. Um, it'd be nice if it was a little sweeter, but it is very carbonated and it's very clean, meaning that once you swallow it, there's very little residual flavor left in your mouth. It's a very clean beer. So here's to you, Warmouse. Thanks again, Three Witches. Saison. So moving forward, um, <clears throat> pardon me, I do have some shout outs to give. And one of these shout outs is, uh, is long overdue, all the way back, I don't even remember, I think it was Vape Bash that I prom promised Eric I would give him a shout out, but uh, uh, Eric, whom I met at Vape Bash, who, uh, let me try to find his, uh, his messages here, um, uh, Tangros, Eric 
Tengros. Uh, he has a YouTube channel now and uh, an Instagram. And when he gets to 100 subscribers, he's going to be doing a giveaway. And I'll post a link to his uh, his YouTube channel in the description to this video. If you want to go over and check out, see what ET Zombie Eric Tangaros is doing. Um, Eric, one very constructive uh, constructive criticism for you, sir. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Your stainless steel and copper mutation X video is sideways. It's sideways. Um, additionally, your other video, which one was it? The giveaway video? Ah, your Ragnarok video is uh, is also sideways. I mean, it's, it's literally sideways. Um, you would have to turn your head to watch it. And then in your giveaway video, you're shooting in portrait mode. Um, that's kind of the my pet peeve of uh, of YouTube is when people use their phone and then shoot portrait mode instead of uh, landscape. So don't don't do that. Stop that, Eric. Just want to give a shout out real quick, Eric Et Zombie. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description to both his YouTube and his Instagram if you're so interested in seeing what he's all about. <clears throat> Next up, this comes from Travis. It's not quite a viewer mail, but. Uh, Figured I would give him a shout out anyway. Hi Nick, I recently lost a dear friend to cystic fibrosis. I'm so sorry. She vaped and was one of the main reasons for me to pick up vaping instead of cigs and her pushing me towards it. I was wondering if your, if in your shout outs for a vlog, you could give a shout out and maybe some information about cystic fibrosis to help raise awareness. Also, if you've never seen it, I highly recommend checking out 65 Red Roses. It's a great documentary film. Um, I forgot to tell you that her name was Nicole, and I would be happy to provide you with any information about cystic fibrosis that you would like. Travis, Travis, I'm very sorry uh, for your loss. I'm, I'm sorry for the loss of Nicole. Cystic fibrosis is, uh, I was reading up on it, it's not, uh, it's not pleasant. It's one of those scary things that exists in the world. I'm going to put a link in the description to where you can find out more about cystic fibrosis in honor of Nicole. At least go read up on it. Maybe go get yourself checked out. But yes, absolutely. Here's a shout out to you. Here's a shout out to Nicole. I'm very, very sorry for your loss. Very, very sorry for your loss. Um, I also want to give a quick, quick shout out to Reddit user omelette du fromage omelette du fromage uh he uh, called me out on reddit um he was really cool about it he said i needed to step up my game so i did so i stepped up my game i blew some vapor and turned into a uh, stormtrooper <laughs> it was kind of cool it was fun uh i i had a lot of fun on an otherwise shitty day um doing that whole thing and I'm gonna post a link in the description to that reddit thread because I thought it was hilarious and uh, yeah but I mean good good group of people over there they're always down to have some fun I was thinking about doing an AMA and if you're not familiar with what an AMA is over on reddit they do AMAs where it's like hey I'm so and so ask me anything and there was one you know it's like hi I had my legs crushed by a train and I'm 18 years old ask me anything or sometimes it's like hey I'm Bill Gates ask me anything like Celebrities get on there, uni unique people get on there, and I was thinking about maybe, you know, it, it would be fun to do one. Um, I know people have questions, uh, not just, you know, for me, but about vaping, about Namber juice, about liquids, about whatever. Uh, might be kind of fun to go over there. Uh, if uh, anybody on Reddit sees this, let me know, you know, what would be a good day of the week or a good time to do AMAs. I'm not really sure what would be the best time, and that's kind of what's been holding me back. But regardless, um, let me go over to my inbox. There is one last uh, shout out that I want to do. Um, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Just tell me where he went. Oh, here he is. Um, the, he is. Uh, wow. 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 Uh, I would like to start by saying that if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten off cigarettes and I would probably still be smoking. That's not probably entirely true. Anyways, I was hoping you'd be able to give a shout out to my wonderful girlfriend in your next vlog. She's suffering from a disease called ankylosing splondiditis. It's causing her ligaments to slowly turn to bone and her vertebrae to fuse together. Oh, 
It has always, it, it has also given her a herniated disc. She's 19 years old and expected to be in a wheelchair by 25. She's pretty down in the dumps lately, and since everything has been getting worse, as well as migraines and eye problems, also caused by her disease, I hope you're able to do this for her. She could really use the motivational push to keep going these days. Thanks for everything you do, Laith. Oh my gosh. Uh, you didn't give me her name. Oh, her name is Sydney. Forgot to include her name. Did a follow-up email for the shout-out request. Her name is Sydney. Sydney, I don't even want to pronounce the disease that you have. I can't even... It's. It sounds... Uh, it just sounds truly awful, and I can't... It hurts my heart to know that there's people going through this in the world, causing your ligaments to slowly turn into bone and her vertebrae to fuse together. That is horrible. So yes, consider yourself shouted out. You and your boyfriend, Laith. Sydney, Laith, shout it out. You got to stay strong. I know that things suck and everybody has, you know, things that they're going through. And when I read emails like this, the problems that I have right now problems that I'm going through seem much less significant because my my ligaments aren't slowly turning into bone and my vertebrae are not uh, are not fusing together wow that's horrible um, I, I certainly wish you the best um, stay strong hang in there do what you can do uh, I obviously you have a boyfriend Laith who loves you very very much and uh, hope you guys make it out Laith dad I just Keep me updated. Maybe give me an update in like a month. See how things are going. Um, I've, you know, just, just cause, just cause it's one of those things. Cause that that is horrible, horrible inflammatory disease that can cause some of the vertebrae in your spine to fuse together. This fusing makes the spine less flexible and can result in a hunched forward posture. The ribs are also affected. It may be difficult to breathe. Why do things? Why do diseases like this even exist? I don't even, I can't even, I can't even. Well, now that we've, uh, now that we've had some very so-so beer, saison, some saison, some three witches saison beer, and we talked to Travis, who lost his dear friend to cystic fibrosis, as well as Sydney, who has what seems to be the worst disease on earth that is causing her ligaments to turn into bone. Maybe we can get this. Uh, maybe we can get this momentum back into a positive light. It's time to do some first impressions. All right, so I don't actually have a whole hell of a lot to do for first impressions, but what I did want to talk about is a mech mod as well as this. It's all right here, as well as this atomizer, as well as even the coils that are in this atomizer. So, uh, not too long ago. I shouted out a man, a man named Twisted Messes, and uh, Ken, I believe his name is, super nice guy, just a really good guy. He uh, he offered me to to maybe send him an atomizer to build on, and I thought, hell yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I sent him my dog atomizer, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be that guy, and I'm gonna get some uppy closey action happening here. Uh, let's see, you up closey. Oh, you're not this you're not even going to be able to appreciate the majesty of this coil on here. You know what? You know it would work much better. I'll just show you some pictures of this coil um, before I skunked it up with juice and before all that nonsense. It's a beautiful looking coil and it performs just just splendidly. Twisted messes. Thank you so much. This is a uh, I, I used to know what this was. <coughs> Uh, I apologize. I'm typing right now. Um, I'm going to try to get. It's a complicated uh, coil. It said it may. He made him want to quit building. So I sent him my dog. D o g e d o g e dog dog, whatever. D o g e d o g e atomizer. <laughs> it's a parallel 30 gauge fused Clapton. Two strands of 30 gauge core with 36 gauge Clapton dual parallel 4 wrap on the dog atomizer, clocking in at 0.22 ohms. And you know, when you see this coil, it's just, it looks beautiful. I want this coil to last me the rest of my life. And then when it finally breaks and it finally dies, I'm sending this back to Twisted Messes so that he can build me uh, another one or something similar. But 
I got it and I had had this atomizer for a while before and it was fine and I wasn't super, super stoked on it. Um, I've been basically using nothing but this atomizer since it came back. I love the flavor. I love the vapor production. It's just been, uh, it's just been wonderful. And also it's been like well over an hour since I vaped. I just realized that. Brilliant. It's delicious. Oh. I apologize. Let me drink some more beer. But yeah, it's been uh it's been fantastic. Twisted messes, I can't thank you enough. Um I know that he maybe he doesn't want this out there. I believe he has an eBay store. I believe he has an eBay store where you can buy his coils. I don't know, maybe he doesn't want it up there. Maybe he doesn't want it out there. Maybe you should email him, twistedmesses at gmail.com. But he does crazy builds. I already shouted him out, so there's no need to shout him out again. But now I've seen in real, actual life how complicated this build is, and I just have this newfound respect for him. It's performing great. I love using it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I almost, uh, I almost coughed there. Did you see me like dry heaving? I was like, <laughs> um, too much clouds, bro. Just uh, <laughs> too much clouds in the vape room. So yeah, moving forward, let me take one more here. Delicious, delicious, wonderful clouds. So uh, after that, the mod that this is on is called the Hex. So. Hex USA it comes from Hex, ah, the Leviathan. The Leviathan looked like this. This looks like this. It's kind of, uh, well, it's hex shaped. Additionally, there are other mods with the name hex in it. There's the Hex Ohm. And back in the day, back in 2009, we had the, back in 2010, we had the Copper Hex, which was, uh, it was always a copper tube with hex nuts on the top and bottom. And, uh, so this idea, this hex idea has been around for a while. What this mod really, really has going for it is the switch. The switch has been just fan freaking tastic because there's no, uh, you kind of notice there's no top cap. There's a 510 connection there and then all the adjustments are made with the switch, which I think is just a great design. It's just a switch, just a switch with a flush button on the bottom and you adjust for battery rattle by screwing this up snug. Just whoop, snug. Yep, now it's snug. Now I know that this is touching the battery. The battery is touching the top, you know, uh, you know, uh, pin. And then that is touching the, the atomizer. And I know it's going to fire and I know it's going to work. I've really enjoyed using this. Um, when I first got it, it kind of reminded me of a piece of like 1980s furniture. Remember how in the 1980s everything was gold trimmed, like like a bar stools with like gold legs, or like those swoopy chairs that were gold all the way around. That's exact, or like a lamp, like a lamp that is this exact shape, and it was like the touch sensor lamps. For some reason, everything was gold in the 80s. That's exactly what this reminds me of for some reason is 80s furniture. I apologize if that offends the creators of this mod, but that's what it reminds me of. The performance is top notch. The way that you adjust it is top notch. The button is quite nice. Of course, I will report back later with a, you know, with a full YouTube video on how this uh, handles and exists in the real world. I've really enjoyed using it, if nothing else, because it's so simple. To take up for that battery rattle there's no little things to unscrew it's just the switch you just adjust the switch um, like I said I'll report back later with uh, with how things are going on um, so yeah this isn't gonna be a full review in fact I'm not even gonna put the review -y graphic up here or uh, okay maybe I'll put the review -y graphic up here I just remember that I actually have one more first impression to do, but we'll get to that after this. So this is the e -Mech. 
So this is made by Dovpo, <laughs> the same people that make that weird Elvt mod that I reviewed so, so long ago. This is the e Mac. So this is a 30 watt device. I have it cranked all the way up to 30 watts. There's a big display on here that you're not gonna be able to see. Why does my screen do that when I get so close? Do you see those stripes? Is that normal? I have my brightness all the way down, whatever. Dovpole makes the EMEC, and so it can fire down to like a 0.5 ohm, it goes up to 30 watts, it's kind of like a DNA 30, it's an odd, odd shape. It's got a light, it's got a light on it that I thought I knew how to turn on. Uh, nope, oh, uh, there's the light. <laughs> There's the light. You hold down the minus button to turn on and off the light. Um, you can set your wattage and voltage up and down. You can switch between wattage and voltage. It shows you the date. Runs on two 18650 batteries that are removable and in the back. It's just a weird thing. It's not like a box mod, quite like a box mod, but it's not... Certainly not a tube mod, but when I think of a box mod, I think of a box, like a box, like something that is box shaped. This is boxy, but it's not box shaped, it's just weird shaped. Um, anyway, I have a clone of the Tobe on here. Um, I want to talk about these next. That's what I'm going to talk about. These aren't chuff tops. I want to talk about those next. But I have a Tobe clone on here. Like I said, it's 0.7 ohms at 30 watts. Um, decent, highly decent vape. The one thing that is truly great about this EMEC is if you're a thumb button guy, it's really, really comfortable to hold because your top finger goes in this notch right here and then your thumb just goes here and it's super, super, super comfortable to hold and use. And the performance is, is fine. It's just it's just a weird design. Um, I'm probably going to end up giving this away later, maybe after the new year if it's, if it's still around or if... Uh, you know, whatever. I've been giving things away lately. I mean, not just, I mean, apart from the giveaway that's happening, um, I've been giving away just, just random stuff to different random people. So I have a feeling, um, if you're, a, this is how you should be using it. You should be using it with your button and with your finger. It's nice. I mean, the performance is great. Dual 18650. Hi, there's also a flashlight on there if you need it. Um, there's a flashlight on here if you need it. I can't believe I just said that in a vape video. Oh no, it's locked, that's why. Ah, there's a flashlight on here if you need it. If you need your mod to have a flashlight, this mod has it. Uh, I don't know what it is with China and wanting to put uh, uh, flashlights on everything. It's fun, it's a fun mod to use. I don't rarely ever take it in public, but it does have a nice profile. It's a good pocketable mod. You just throw this in your back pocket and you're good. You could probably sit on this easily without breaking it. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the E-Mech from Dovpo. 30 watts, dual 18650. The only gripe I have about it is a wonky design, but with that wonky design, it's really comfortable and easy to hold. They made these with Transformers logos on them, and I was like, oh, that's really cool, and then I'm like, I don't, nah. I, I don't need the Decepticon symbol on a uh, on a big mod. Clouds for days, bro. Clouds for days. So what I want to move back into is uh, I want to move back into some first impressions. I won't do the. I won't make you sit through the graphic again. Oh. Mm. For those just listening, I was just uh, I was just having some beer. I actually like it more the longer that uh, that I drink it, which is weird. Um, the Beast. I haven't talked about the Beast yet. Dual twenty six six fifty, like a hundred watts. Um, I'm gonna do some more research on this, but I've really been enjoying it. That's the Universe Atomizer that I did last week. It's good. It's good. I need some vapor. Okay. 
so yeah, that binging you hear is uh, Facebook in the background. So what I want to talk about are these Chef Enough clones. Um, here's a gripe that I have in the uh, in the vaping industry. Um, I have plenty of gripes, but there's one gripe in particular I have that is, uh, well, it's my newest one, so therefore it's at the forefront of my mind. Anything labeled competition series or competition level, what the fuck? Stop it. Just stop it. I get it. You want to blow big clouds. I I want to blow big clouds. But competing, get real. In fact, I'm going to make this statement right now. At the next VaporCon West 2015, Reno, Nevada, I'm not going to have a cloud competition because that's ridiculous and I don't want to be a part of it. Blow as big a cloud as you want, but competing with someone else over your cloud size... (laughs) <laughs> what 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 uh clouds bro anyway what i have are these are marketed as competition series top caps and that's what this one is these come from district five and they work really well um this is a white chef enough and these are made from delrin and these half moon from District 5 seem to be made out of a much more brittle material. Like it feels like a like a hard, hard plastic. In fact, one of them that I received, I'm gonna have to do a, an up close thing here. One of them that I received was actually cracked and broken, like the heat sink fins were were broken off. Can you see that? Can you see how that's broken right there? Yeah, those heat sink fins were just totally, totally broken off. And it's because it's made of like that, like that weird, hard, hard feeling plastic. Um, These fit all of the atomizers that like a chuff would fit. So things like the Tobe or a Tobe clone or the Vulcan or the Igo W5 with the crest top cap or a multitude of other. There's one, for some reason, only this one will fit on my tugboat version two. None of the other ones will. Blue one with the heat sinks won't fit on there, but this white one without the heat sinks will fit perfectly on my tugboat version two, which combined together the tugboat version 2 and this top cap thank you matt from suck my mod for pointing out that these actually fit is one of my favorite 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 vapes of all time i love these style of top caps please don't call them competition level because that just sticks in my craw they're good for dripping um you don't have to be super accurate you don't have to take on and off a drip tip they're a bit big (laughs) when you put them in your mouth I wonder if I can play it like a trumpet. No. Um, they're big and nice for dripping. So you have this big giant opening. You take whatever bottle of juice you're using and you just bleep, you just pour it in and you're good. And you're good to go. Wow, I flooded the hell out of this tobe. One thing you have to be careful with with these chuff style drip tops is uh, juice in your mouth. If you flood it a little bit and then you drag really hard, you're going to get juice in your mouth because look, look how big, look how big the opening is. It's gigantic. Well, that wasn't quite as fun as I thought it would be, but regardless, um, couple people that make these now most recently i got some from district five i'll put a link in the description they're called half i thought they were called half mun and then i'm like half mun what does that even mean it's half moon because there's an accent you see over the u so you're supposed to pronounce it like mune half mune half mune but please vendors stop calling things competition series or competition level that is I get it. Okay, again, (laughs) blow clouds, blow giant clouds. Just don't compete with each other because it just makes us look douchey. Do you see what I'm saying? I 
Anyway, it's good. They're good. They're made out of a slightly different material than the chuff caps. Chuff caps are much, much smoother. Uh, much. They, they just feel. They feel different. They feel really brittle. And I saw the first one with with the heat sink fins come out, and I'm like, oh, there's going to be a broken one in there. Sure enough, I pulled this one out, and these fins are. Uh, Heat sink fins are, are broken off uh, broken off of there, but no big deal. Chuff's been cloned, and now uh, there's a competition series <laughs> from uh, District 5. District 5 is actually a fantastic vendor, and uh, they really do stand behind their products. And they, have, they have cool stuff, including uh, the Infinite CLT version 2. Um, I'll post a link in the description to their, uh, to their Instagram as well as their shop online so thank you district 5 for sending these sending those my way um please stop calling them competition level mods and i have a feeling that's just going to make people mad that i don't like that i can't I, I can't apologize i just i just don't like it so before we get to the viewer mail i want to give everyone a quick giveaway reminder this is going on for two weeks so i announced it last week on uh Thursday, November 6th. This is going to go through Thursday, November 20th. That's the cutoff date. Email me, contest at grimgreen.com. Don't send it to nick at grimgreen.com. Please send it to contest at grimgreen.com. Nominate somebody who you think deserves new vape gear. I'm going to pick 12 people to get brand new vape gear, including tanks, atomizers, mods, batteries, and juice. It's a whole huge thing. Um, I may not, you know what, let's just get to the viewer mail and then I'll put some announcements uh, at the end. So let's do viewer mail. Viewer mail. Now that is quite a head to drink through. So first up, uh, first up, uh, this comes from Brandon the Great. Self, self-appointed the great Brandon the great he says hey Nick I hope you're doing well I just thought I'd share with you that up in Canada they appear to be making nicotine a prescription drug I made an order a couple of weeks ago from Moon Mountain Vapor um, and received the following letter in the mail today um, I hope that this customs officer or Canada health person was just a massive, massive dick that salary is subsidized by the tobacco companies. Anyway, sorry, Sheik. A little burp. A little bit of throw up. Anyway, the juice I ordered, uh, every bottle contained less than three milligram of nicotine. It's not like I was ordering bottles of pure nicotine or anything, but this definitely doesn't look good. So he got a letter from Health Canada. It says, Dear Sir or Madam, your mail shipment was examined by Health Canada under the provisions of the Food and Drug Act. It contained prescription drugs. The, important, the import of prescription drugs by Canadian residents is prohibited by the law. Health Canada recommended that your shipment be refused entry into the country. It is outlined in Section C.10.045 of the Food and Drug Regulations. Importing prescription drugs is permitted only by a resident of a foreign country while the visitor is in Canada, a practitioner or wholesale druggist, a drug manufacturer, or a registered pharmacist. It goes on from there. Uh, it goes on from there. Basically, they saw the bottles of juice said these are prescription drugs and then denied him the package from moon mountain vapor um that sucks uh brandon um he he did follow up with me later and he said i was able to talk to someone at health canada i guess be because electronic cigarettes are not approved by health canada the canadian government uh slash the canadian government customs is able to reject it but the lady i talked to at health canada said order it again and it will get through custom customs rejecting shipments seems to be a very very infrequent event i have asked mount moon, mount, moon mountain to resend the order and we will see what happens hopefully all the vendors in the states don't stop shipping up here was really hoping to get my hands on some donut pounder it doesn't seem like CASA supports Canada. It would be awesome if we had somewhere where we could fight the war against banning e-cigs here in Canada. So evidently this is sort of an isolated incident. Maybe that particular Health Canada representative or, uh, 
you know, person was just misinformed as to what was in his package. And it's strange that he called Health Canada and then someone at Health Canada told him, oh, just try again. Just try again. You know, it'll get through. It just seems uh, that just seems so very strange. Um, Also, check out Winter Sleep. They might not be metal, but they're pretty awesome for when you're in a mellow mood. You know what? Since I don't have any music for this week's vlog, we are going to Google Winter Sleep and we are going to come back to that. Thank you, Brandon. Um, It's funny that you mentioned that because hopefully, hopefully soon, and don't quote me on this, but hopefully, hopefully very soon, Keep your fingers crossed. Namber Juice will be shipping to Canada, hopefully, hopefully very soon. Um, that's the plan is to get to Canada. We want to ship our juice to Canada. There's Canadians who need Donut Pounder in their lives. I know these people, and uh, they need it in their life. And so we're going to do our best. Uh, thank you, Brandon the Great, for that, as well as uh, there was another one. There was there was another viewer mail I wanted to do. Um, it seems like lately my inbox has just been insane i got uh well i got 63 emails today (laughs) ah i'm trying to do the best um i'm trying to do the best i can there was one oh my gosh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry that i can't find this email hold please thank you so much for your time no 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 Uh, I can't find the other email that I wanted to answer. It wasn't a shout out. wasn't part of the contest. Uh, he's entering for his brother. Um, please send your emails to contest at grimgreen.com. Uh, it makes my life, um, it makes my life so much easier. Uh, shout out guidance. Oh, here, this is a good one. Michael, Michael. Um, he had previously asked me about the Vamo and I told him that the Vamo was fine. Uh, it's a little bit outdated at this point and I would suggest looking at something with a DNA board, DNA 20, 30, or 40 for more versatility. Maybe check out the RDNA or DNA from Vapor Shark. I seem to recommend that a lot. And he emailed me back and says, thanks. How do you feel about the new Inokin DNA? And this is something we haven't quite talked about and I haven't even really done a first impression. So I'm going to grab it right now. Uh, I believe we did talk about this in a previous-ish vlog. Let me get the battery that they sent along. Now, this is the Inokin SVD version 2. It comes with an actual genuine DNA 20 uh, in it. And it's a big SVD version 2 DNA powered. So this is a real DNA 20 in here. And the mod itself is not crazy big. It's... It feels like the size of a Proveri, maybe a little bit bigger. I feel like this is a cool device. Hang on, let me get a tank. Sorry. Oh, good Lord, that took way too long. Let me get a tank here. Um, this Does, does this have a, a spring-loaded center pin? I just like finding these things out. It looks spring loaded. It is. That is a spring loaded center pin in there, son. So I'm going to attach this Aspire Nautilus Mini. And I think about, if I talk about this in the other vlog, it's now when it has a tank, it just feels big. It just feels big. It feels like a nightstick. It feels like a baton. Like, look how comparing to like. Let's 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 have this little mech mod right here. This is the uh, the Valiant mech mod, right here. Holy crap! Look at this. Look at this difference. That's amazing to me that this little thing will just blow clouds. And it's so small. And then you get something like this, like the SVD version two, with an Aspire Nautilus tank on it. And it just feels gigantic. The performance is nice. What was that set at? 15.4 watts? I like that. It 
it just feels big. It's nice and it's 20 watts of power on an 18650 battery. Depending on the price, I would say this is a really good, probably a really good way to go. I don't know how much it costs and I don't want to try to find out right now. Okay, fine, you twisted my arm. SVD version two, go. Hmm. So the first search result is a blog called 3avape.com, uh, Inakin's Facebook, New Taste, Day Taste SVD, coming soon. Okay, so it doesn't have a price. It seems like if I Google I Taste SVD version 2, the Inokin site would be the first one to come up. Um, the old SVD is still selling for like $100. So I'm imagining this is going to be over $100. And of course, they don't have prices. Why would they have prices? That makes no sense, Inokin. Thank you for not having prices. I don't know how much this will cost. If it's much more than $100, eh. Uh, Eh, it's just an 18650 with a DNA 20. I mean, this is 2013, 2012 technology kind of being repackaged and sold again. So if it's more, much more than a hundred dollars, I wouldn't. I would probably pass on this and uh, grab something else. But with that said, if it's if it's a hundred dollars or less, totally fine, totally good. Especially if you're using things like the Kanger Aero Tank or the uh, Aspire Nautilus, it's a, it's a great vape. Yeah, that's good, that's performing really well. I think that was the last, I think that was the last viewer mail that I, uh, that I wanted to do, so uh, yeah. Don't forget about the giveaway, the giveaway is coming up. I may not have a vlog next week, so today is Thursday, November 13th, 2014 uh, I'm going to a vape meet on the 15th I will not have a vlog next week but I will not have a vlog on November 20th I will have a double feature on Monday the 24th and hopefully a double feature on Monday the December 1st hopefully things are just crazy um, so yeah the week of the 20th I'm not gonna have a vlog but I will have a vlog on Thanksgiving Day, on November 27th, to announce the winners of the big giveaway. And remember, you have till the 20th to enter. That's contest. Contest at grimgreen.com. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Mech mods, atomizers, as that's what's popular. Uh, box mods, uh, variable wattage mods. The Beast is coming up soon. Uh, the Red Horse, the Mod Zombie, the Mod Zombie, the Knight. The Knight, I'm looking forward to doing a video for The Knight from uh, from Vapesmith as well. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. You know, as we get towards the end of the year, towards the holidays, the videos get a little bit scarce just because things get so busy and so crazy with like Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I'm gonna do my best to stay on point, stay on target. Of course I will do my best to do that. Remember, I won't have a vlog the week of the 20th, but I will the week of the 27th. I hope you guys are good. Thank you so much for joining me again. And uh, don't forget about that giveaway because it is a, it is, I feel like this is a pretty cool, I would be pumped beyond repair if I had just started vaping and one of my friends entered me in a contest and then I won like a brand new mech mod and, uh, and a brand new atomizer. I think that would be just, uh, just a, a great gift to get to someone you love. Um, but that's what I got for today. We covered a lot. We covered beer. We did shout outs. The, it got a little dark there with diseases and I apologize for that. But we talked about a lot of stuff. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping. I didn't even press the button. That's the magic of YouTube. I just held this and went. Didn't even press the button. Didn't even press the button. I will now though. Proof. <laughs>